News investigation and calling some questions whether we'll ever know the true extent of Dahmer's horrors. Well, Kath, Jeffrey Dahmer gave a 159-page confession, but the FBI profiler on the case believes the serial killer kept secrets. The secrets revealed on July 22, 1991, stunned the world and shook the law enforcement establishment. How could Jeffrey Dahmer have killed so many for so long without anyone noticing? There was really no trail that led to him yeah. until the young man escaped. It could still be going on. Neil Pertell is the retired Wisconsin FBI profiler assigned to the Dahmer case. He doubts we'll ever know the real extent of Dahmer's crimes. I think very few people ever disclose everything. They always hold something back. That's their power. That's their control. Jeffrey Dahmer committed his first known murder at age 18. The second, nine years later. They don't stop. I mean, he started after high school. They don't stop. Pertel says it's unlikely Dahmer didn't kill during the nine years between those murders. Dahmer spent the first two years after the first murder in the Army, stationed in Germany. His roommate, uh, while he was in the military, has received a disability, uh, in great part because of Dahmer's activity toward him. After Dahmer's arrest, that Army roommate alleged 18 months of rape and torture at Dahmer's hands on this website. And German detectives traveled here to question Dahmer about five still unsolved murders near his Army base. We don't know if he was, what he was involved in in Europe. Uh, in Germany when he was with the military there. The Army booted Dahmer for drinking and insubordination and shipped him from Germany to South Florida, where a different homicidal drama soon played out. He's our only child, He's a beautiful little boy, and we, and we, we just want him back. A transient Dahmer was working part-time at a sub shop and sleeping on the beach when the heartbreaking abduction and murder of six-year-old Adam Walsh captured national headlines. The Walsh case soon turned cold until Dahmer's arrest 10 years later and his front page photos sparked a flurry of calls to police claiming Dahmer was Adam's abductor. Dahmer was there. Uh, four people who were at that mall identified him after he was arrested by Milwaukee police. They saw his photograph and said that's the guy that we encountered. Dahmer denied killing Adam, so police ruled him out and closed the Walsh case three years ago without new evidence, blaming it on another dead serial killer. The former FBI profiler believes Dahmer is the more likely suspect. It's a leap of imagination to think a person like this now let loose and drinking a lot and, and uh, unemployed and stressed out in, in Florida wouldn't have engaged in something. It just would be a leap. I think Dahmer would have, would have graciously told the coppers that if he'd done anything to that boy. Dahmer's lawyer believes his client revealed all his secrets after his arrest, noting Dahmer's confession ran more than 150 pages. He wanted to unload things that, that they didn't even know happened, probably because he just, that's how, how mentally ill he was, I think. He just wanted to tell him everything. But Jerry Boyle concedes Dahmer fooled him early on. Boyle defended Dahmer against charges he sexually assaulted a 13-year-old three years before his murder arrests. I would have bet the farm that he wasn't ever capable of hurting anybody. Boyle would later learn that at the time of that sexual assault case, Dahmer had already committed four murders. Dahmer was murdered in prison in 1994. The profiler says he visited Dahmer routinely before his death and continued to question him about Adam Walsh. He says Dahmer initially denied killing Adam, but later commented that whoever killed Adam Walsh would not survive in prison. He also said Dahmer noted that Florida has the death penalty cap. Some fascinating perspective from the FBI profiler, and you're going to have more from him tomorrow morning? Yeah, we're going to hear from him, and we're going to hear from Jerry Boyle, the attorney. They don't generally